Hey, it's John Gerball, Mantrain.com. <clears throat> I already made a video earlier about where I used a 50 pound kettlebell and I walked one and a half miles on a 20, 20 yard course I always mark out. My yard's got a little grade in it, so, you know, I, a little uphill, a little uphill. So I always take that into account. So after I spent 34 minutes walking with a 50 pound kettlebell, switching it from arm to arm, I didn't stop, I didn't have any water, it took me 34 minutes. Okay, now if you look at what they say a good ruck time with a 50 pound pack is, it was between 15 and 20 minutes. So I was moving at a clip the same as somebody with a 50 pound pack. I did a mile and a half, it took me 34 minutes. So I was right there with a time that was just as good as quality people that are shaped that rock with the weight on their back, not in their hand, okay, which makes it way more difficult. You can try it if you want because it's tough to move quick at a nice clip with, the, with it in one hand. But after I got done that, 34 minutes, my grandson, he always likes me to pass him the ball so he can work on his catch in his hands. Well, today, he wanted to be the quarterback, so I was running past patterns, pretty warm, humid out. So after I walked a mile and a half with the 50-pound kettlebell, I ran short pass patterns for 45 minutes. Still a little sweaty here. Um, so when people tell me about their low T, you know, how they don't have it, the same or we it's drastically different than it used to be I'm still living in that same environment that most people are living in and I don't have any of those symptoms at 56 years old so I, I can't I, I just can't comprehend because I, I did a post to what I see on a regular basis and, and like I said I'm around a lot of different people I'm a lot around a lot of blue collar and white collar workers about the same okay and what I see is a total different lifestyle totally different Okay, and the people that are always complaining always seem to be the guys that go to the gym. You never hear about their outside activities. You never hear about any of that thing. I got my nine-year-old grandson outside as much as he can. He's out flipping rocks. He caught snakes yesterday. He loves being outside. Guess what? He's going to be outside as much as he can. He wrestles. He takes jujitsu. I'm lucky I have some say in the way he grows up because my daughter is good with that. Because she doesn't want no fucking sissy. She don't want no mama's boy. Let me tell you something. He ain't a mama's boy. He gravitates more to to, to uh, men who go fishing and crab and hunt and exercise. He just gravitates towards it. You know, it's funny because when I was growing up, I also gravitated that way. I was always into speed, strength. I was always into carrying things, doing man, things that, were, that men did. Um, I just don't understand today how men complain. And like I said, if you look at who are the fucking losers and who wind up uh, taking shots at, in schools, it's always the misfits, the boy, the gamers, the ones that never left their basement. Um, they're the ones that are the sick ones. They're the ones that are operating with low, uh, low T. So if you're complaining about the low T, you're probably one of these people. Okay? That's the only way. Complain, bitch, about the plastics, it's you. It's your lifestyle, okay? You like to bitch about it, so you're going to continue to stay weak later.